This episode of Scam School brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Welcome to the show that swears, promises, it's going to call you in the morning and it won't be weird at all. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and today we learn crime, an actual con game popular from the 1920s called Fast and Loose. I'm going to teach you guys an old con game. It's a gambling game that dates back all the way to like the 1600s. It was originally called Pricking the Garter, Chasing the Chain, uh, the Endless Chain. Um, and most recently, we've heard it called Fast and Loose. Back in the, it got a resurgence back in the 1920s where it was called Fast and Loose. And essentially, it goes like this. You basically take a chain and draw a figure eight with it. Now, how you throw the chain causes either one of these holes to be one that's held fast and one that's held loose. In this case, I set it up so that if you put your finger here and I pull the chain, it'll hold fast. If you put your finger here and I pull the chain, it'll slip right off. Let me explain. For example, put your finger right there. And I'm going to pull it tight. And it holds fast, right? Now, in this case, go ahead and lift your finger. Uh, I'm going to do what looks like the exact same thing. And in this case, I want you I want you to put your finger in the exact same spot. Okay. And in this case, you can see it goes loose. Oh, right? Yeah. So yeah. It, this is essentially, it's a game of matching wits because it's very difficult to figure out which one is held fast and which one is loose. This is about the con man reading people. And in this case, what the con man will do is he'll actually make a prediction of what he thinks somebody's going to go for and he'll set up the chain. For okay. example, go ahead and make a choice. Are you absolutely certain? No. <laughs> now are you certain? Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Was I actually had thought you were going to go with that one. But then it occurred to me you would change your mind. Go ahead and put All your right. finger there. Oh. Look, can I go there? You know what? I didn't plan on you changing it back. And so you can see that is where it was held. But you know I would have won. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now here we're going to start playing for real. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. Here we go. I've made my prediction. Who wants to go? Let me go? Yeah. So I'm going to pick the one that goes fast. So Whichever one you, you okay. let's say you have a dollar on the table. Hold fast. Holds fast. Ah, oh, very yes. good. <laughs> very good at predicting. Let's try that again. Here. Let's do it. You pick the one that holds fast. Which one? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you know that's the same one he went. Yeah, I know. I had a feeling that that's what you would go for. Nice. I tell you what, we're gonna try one variation. Now, I gotta tell you, I will take you guys for hundreds of dollars playing this game. We're gonna be fair here. Both of you guys put a finger in right now. Okay. Now I want you to see that it's a fair game and you can tell that right now one of you has the one that holds fast. Yeah. All you have to do is have the other person lift their finger. If you guess correctly, you win. 100 bucks. 100 bucks, right? 100 bucks. Bucks. I'm not losing it. Here you go. Oh. Should've held. Should've held Thank All you. right, you guys ready for the real work on this? Yeah. Totally unbeatable. There's no way to win this game. Okay. Because. Have you ever had anyone win? What's that? Have you ever had anyone win? No. And you'll understand why. Because when you set up the chain, basically what you do, if you want to do it fair, you lay the chain out, you hold your hand palm up, and as you come around, my hand's going to rotate so you can see it's like a circle folding back on itself. Yeah. And in this case, this is a fair setup where the left side will hold fast. See, the right side, if you put it in there, you can see it's loose, right? But the left side, you can see, it, you can see, hold it's fast, yeah. right? That's However, you pull the chain. that's so. So, so again, the setup to do it fair is you rotate the hand as you come around and you set up a real one. If you want to get the hold fast side on this side, put your fingers here and pull it apart, and now this side's held fast. That's how you do the real setup. If you want to cheat, now you're, this is the part you're not going to believe. Yeah. If you want to cheat, remember, I said you got to rotate your hand around to do it fair. Yeah. If you want to cheat, you're going to do the exact same move, no rotation. So 
watch. If yeah. I don't rotate my hand, if I just go forward and around, it looks like the exact same setup, but both sides are actually held, are actually loose. Oh. Nice. You see that? So in this case, and so in this case, again, going forward and over without rotating the hand gives you loose loose to where there's no way they can win. Make sense? Yeah. Yep. You guys want to actually try this? All right, so All right. we're, we're going to do a real one first. So real remember, one. you're going to so rotate, rotate your hand around. Hand around yeah. There you go. Drop it in there, and then there's one hole there, yep. and then the other one there. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, go ahead and put your finger there, and then you pull it. Pull it anyway, right? Yep. And that's a legit throw, nice. right? Yeah. Now go ahead and we'll do the exact yeah. same setup, except right. this time, fake it. So, Cheat. This time, let's do it so no rotation. All right, no rotation. Yeah. yeah so no, now, now I want you to tell you, one thing I do is that... Yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that, yeah, don't good. rotate. Don't rotate. Don't rotate, yeah. Yeah, you, you're rotating. See, this, this is a rotation. Yeah. That's, so again, don't rotate. I blame Jack again. I blame Jack. And then, and then come down. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. And again. Yeah, here it is. Now, in this case, it looks like the exact same setup. Go ahead and put your finger in there. Oh. And it guaranteed to win. Alright, 10 bucks a track. That's right. He's on. Now don't forget, this is an illegal con game. Feel free to do it for your friends for fun, but if you start making money off of this, uh, you better send me 10%. Okay, done. Done. Appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Thank you, so Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. Now that you got the basics of Fast and Loose down, you can start screwing over your friends. We will be learning more advanced techniques later on, so keep an eye on the show. But meanwhile, it's very important that we mention that Scam School and its parent corporation, Revision3.com, wholeheartedly recommend that you do not engage in any illegal activities. We wholeheartedly support the efforts of law enforcement to crack down on crime. Meanwhile, if you have any stories of success, I want you to post those stories at revision3.com slash scam school on the message boards. Any questions or if you want to suggest your favorite scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Don't forget, next episode, very special, very useful tip. We're going to be learning how to change your nickel metal hydride batteries into lithium ions. Until then, I'm going to be at the bar. Hello, I'm Brian Brushwood, host of Scam School on Revision 3. Look guys, by now most of you know Scam School's dirty little secret. These scams really do get free drinks. Lots of free drinks. So many free drinks, in fact, that it's important to plan ahead for your ride home. That's why this episode of Scam School is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Remember, 15% of all drivers involved in fatal car crashes during the week were alcohol impaired. During the weekend, that figure jumps to 31%. 59% of those killed in single vehicle crashes on the weekend nights had BACs of .08 or higher. And 62% of all comped drinks are earned by scam school graduates. If you're planning to drink alcohol with friends, designate a sober driver before going out and give that person your keys. Tell them, I don't know, you'll teach them how to do the human chimney. There's no way to hide it. If you drive drunk, we will find you. Cops everywhere are stepping up enforcement and cracking down like never before. Sir. Have you been drinking tonight? Have you been drinking tonight? Make no mistake, you will get caught and you will be arrested. That's kind of depressing. Hey, speaking of Martin Sargent, let's hear about the new Internet Superstar. Internet Superstar's Martin Sargent here. Big news after the tragic death of my sidekick Gator. We're now doing a short episode every weekday with more interviews, more news, and hopefully fewer zombie attacks. It's not the same old Internet Superstar. Thanks for taking a look.